everyone, this is Ms. Helms, and by the end of this video, you should be able to apply the learning target, I can investigate and formulate proofs involving the mid-segments in a triangle and a trapezoid. In this problem, we are asked to solve for the missing measurements, and what we are not told is that this diagram represents the mid-segment of a trapezoid. So 29 is actually referring to the length of the mid-segment of this trapezoid. So in this problem, let's go ahead and we can start with our angle measurements. Um, one quick note, A is actually supposed to be inside of this trapezoid. Sorry about that. It's the interior angle there. So I'm just going to go ahead and place that in there. And to solve for A, what we learned about in this unit is that the consecutive angles of a trapezoid between the two bases are supplementary or they add to 180 degrees. Another reference point is if we think about what we did last unit, if I go ahead and draw in these parallel lines and the transversal, if we take a look at, the, at angle A and the 120 degree angle, these are same side interior angles. And what we learned about same side interior angles is that they are supplementary or they add to 180 degrees. So we can use this knowledge to solve for the measure of angle A. So the measure of angle A plus 120 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. So therefore using inverse operations, the measure of angle A is 60 degrees. So using a similar method, we can go ahead and solve for the measure of angle B. So I'm just going to erase that top parallel line. Um, what we learned about with mid-segments of a trapezoid is that the mid-segment is also parallel to either base. So I'm just going to redraw the parallel lines that we have. So if we um, focus on these two parallel lines and the transversal, we can see that B and 120 are actually corresponding angles, which means that they have the same measurement, which is something that we learned in our previous unit. So therefore, the measure of angle B has to be 120 degrees, since they are corresponding angles. Next, we're going to go ahead and solve for some of the missing side lengths. So what we learned um, about a mid-segment of a trapezoid is that it is the segment that connects one midpoint to another midpoint of the sides of a trapezoid. So therefore, if um, on this left hand side, if we have a midpoint here, we know that each of these pieces are congruent. We also know on the right hand side we have um, two pieces that are congruent. So using this, we can solve for both Z and Y. So for Z, we know that each piece is congruent, so we have actually two Z's here, one on top, one on bottom. So we know that 2Z is equal to 13. So to solve for z, we're going to use inverse operations, divide both sides by 2, and we get z is actually 6.5 units. Then, taking a look at y, well, if 11 and y have the same measurement, since we have a midpoint there, therefore y has to equal 11 units because of the midpoint. Last but not least, we have x to solve for. So x is the length of one of the bases. And we learn that the length of the mid-segment is found by taking the average of the two bases. So we've got base 1 plus base 2 divided by 2. Well, we're actually given the mid-segment, the length of the mid-segment in this problem. We're given that that's 29. So 29 is equal to base 1 is 41 plus base 2, which is x, divided by 2. To go ahead and solve this, we're going to use inverse operations. We're going to multiply both sides by 2. So we have 58 is equal to 41 plus x. And again, to get x by itself, we're going to use inverse operations one more time. Subtract 41 from both sides. x is equal to 17 units. Nice work.